Okay, now onto the little lead line lick that happens after the first chorus, and it's kind of one of the more famous parts of the song. Um, it's the whole... That thing. Um, so we knew this is a couple of things. First, we need to know our sus chords. We're going to take D. D sus4, we're just going to add the pinky to the third fret, first string, so same one. Leave your second finger down, no sense in that coming up. It doesn't matter if it's there. Okay. Um, go back to D, and then D sus2, this one we are going to lift the second finger so that the first string is now open. Okay. Uh, a good little exercise that gets you used to that is the, I call it the four to two to one, um, where you play each one of these four times. D sus4, back to D. D sus2, then two times each. You can speed it up, and that just kind of gets your that coordination of building between your your second and your pinky. It takes some time. Uh, all right, that's that part of that. Um, the next thing we need to do is what's the strumming pattern, and then we'll apply those chords. So the strumming pattern is um, it's not 100% exactly like the song. This is a simplified version of it, um, but hopefully gets you the idea of it. We're gonna do a if you look at your sheet, one, two, and and four, rest, two, three, four. So we do downstrokes on the on the numbers and upstrokes on the Hands, it should be a down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. So we just have what we just did on the course. Down, down, up, up, down. We're doing that again, except the second measure, we're going to rest on count one and then just play counts two, three, four. So we get that down, down, up, up, down, rest, down, down, down. Or one, two, and, and four, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's the, the pattern we're going to use. Now to add the sus chords, we're going to start with... Uh, D sus two, right? Uh, and you're gonna do two of those. So the first down, down is gonna be a D sus two. Down, down. The up, you're gonna put your second finger down uh, and get that up. Well, then it's a normal D. Then the next up is a D again. Then the last down is a D sus four. So you can think about one way of thinking about it is it does two twos, two Ds, and one four, or Whenever you play just a normal D, it's ups, and when all the downs happen to be on susses. So just to play that slowly, it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, or two, two, D, D, four. Okay? And then the next part is really simple. A three down stroke, you can play a D, D sus two, D. So all together, you got down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. Okay, or. immediately then do this to the A chord. So to kind of go over those again, A sus2 is an A chord with no second finger. I'm sorry, no third finger. So your second string is now open. And D sus4, you're going to reach your pinky to the second string third fret for that one. You're going to do the exact same sequence of where the sus2s, the, the A's, and the sus4s go for a down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. Okay. Now back to back, they're going to sound like this. One trick I can give you to get that transition easier, remember from the D chord, which we're going to end up on a D, sus, D to an A sus2. That's a weird chord. We never start on A sus2. Just know that your first finger is already what it needs to be, and all you got to do is take your second finger and throw it up there above it, and we've got our A sus2, and then you can add your other fingers. So that's a kind of a quick transition. So that's the lead line.